Hey guys, as you may have gathered, I'm kind of getting some tools rounded up here again. Um, I've had some of these tools, uh, not necessarily everything you're going to see here or in, uh, in maybe upcoming videos, necessarily new tools, but I'm kind of getting them rounded up and getting them all in one place. I uh, kind of had a bit of a lull period there for a while, it wasn't, uh, wasn't doing as many service calls and just had some uh, quite a bit of personal stuff going on. And, uh, but I'm kind of get, getting back into the swing of things here and some of the tools I still don't have uh, from the um, the ones that got lifted you know years ago now um, so anyways um, for instance this uh, this uh, the yellow jacket tubing vendor kit and I know that the, a lot of guys have upgraded to you know the Hillmore and other you know there's other uh, brands out there too I'm sure that are uh, claiming to be better this one is definitely pretty basic but it's it's always worked for me this is the second kit I've had the original kit I had uh, uh, got stolen but I use that first one uh, a lot I've, I've honestly not used this one too many times um, maybe like four or five you know different jobs total um, definitely a good idea always have the reverse bend adapter you need that more than you think especially if uh, um, you're working on something that's already installed or it has to be in a fixed location as uh, tubing cutter is a uh, very high quality very nice I mean it is the one of the smoothest tubing cutters ever and I kind of tend to just leave it in there um, you know these cones are always nice I uh, have one of those in my uh, plumbing bag, I have a, a metallic one. Nice, you can do the inside and outside of the pipe with it. So, anyways, that's uh, been rolling with that. And uh, this I actually made a small addition to today. Uh, not nothing major, but uh, I like that did pop out of this little socket there. Um, so that's the, uh, this is just a uh, plumber's grease, black swan plumber's grease. The only reason I bought it is because the little tin it was in fit very nicely down in one of those pockets. Um, because you're supposed to grease this cone every time you use it. Uh, you can kind of get away with doing it more, you know, one grease will kind of last more, more than one usage, but, uh, it's a good idea to keep it greased. So I have, you know, faucet, this same kind of grease or, you know, in different forms. Uh, like a toothpaste tube is what I have plumber's grease in and then you know I have obviously the normal tubes of marine grease or uh, you know just normal uh, industrial grease or whatever um, <clears throat> but I wanted something in a little tin like that so pay a little extra for that and it uh, you know then you would for that amount in a tube and uh, we'll refill it as needed uh, so again same thing with this pretty it's the basic kind of tube expander but it served me very well um, these are all, I'm not going to get any other sizes uh, this time. I had the 516 when I bought it originally the first time. Um, but that's, you know, just not necessary. 516 is pretty rare to come across. And when you do, you can just sleeve it with something else, you know, for the most part. So, um, and then if you need, absolutely need to make a swage with it, I have one of those uh, swaging punches that you just hit with a hammer. So, um, so that's that. <laughs> They're great tools to have, uh, really can make your jobs look, look nice and uh, save you some money on fittings. This little, uh, we're kind of a heavy duty soldering iron here, uh, is something I'm going to start carrying with me uh, to be so for soldering bigger cables and stuff. Probably won't be breaking that out very often. Uh, this is kind of my electronics uh, repair kit, um, so I've kind of made some new additions to this. Uh, got some uh, ice purple alcohol in there. Uh, Q-tips for cleaning cleaning circuit boards as well. We got some no uh, no clean flux down here. It's a Kester. What is that? 186. It's a very good stuff. It's what I use over at my desk too. Um, so I, I I used to have all this stuff just in a cardboard box, but now I've decided I want to start carrying it with me, uh, just with my normal tool bag. Because there's been times when I wish I wish I had it. Um, this is what I'm going to use for my USB powered soldering iron. Uh, this is an M12 power supply uh, and battery charger. I think I had this in the uh, tool update video. This is actually uh, this is actually a, a replacement one. The first one I got, the charger function didn't work, but and that works as both as a compact charger and a uh, good sturdy power source that can uh, run my little USB iron no problem. 
and that's a, just a cheap little Chinese thing, but it works. It works good. Got another battery in here. Um, just some you know random tools, picks, uh, solder sucker. This for cleaning the, the tip. Got the helping hands floating around in there. A uh, small screwdriver. I uh, got my game game bits here that fit the uh, video game consoles and cartridges and such. Two different sizes. And uh, I have a little uh, glass jar full of little mini glass jar full of uh, some brass O2 brass polish, which I use for cleaning contacts. Yeah, there we go. So it's a nice, uh, uh, nice little kit. So I'm going to start carrying that around with me uh, as well. And so that's kind of a, a little bit of a new addition. Mostly just stuff I already had just being kind of repurposed. Um, this is an actually an older version. Again, I, I bought the new version of this, but it got, that was one of the things that got stolen. So the Subco M500 Mega Meter. This one's kind of a classic, so I like that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it works well. It, it's not uh, the most accurate, but it uh, it definitely will tell you if you got bad windings or not, which is all you really need. So that's cool. Uh, this is also kind of an older older tool, but still uh, still would work if I needed it. I, I don't I don't find myself needing this very often. Um, I usually just use soapy bubbles, uh, but it's a leak seeker. So if I ever have trouble finding something, I got a kind of a smaller leak or something that's just up behind something I can't see, then uh, I might break that out. I'm getting one of those uh, cheap uh, Chinese com uh, combustible gas um, checkers. Uh, it's based off of the TIF. Uh, I saw it on was it uh, Shannon Knight's channel. Uh, yeah, he had a he was showing off his his new Chinese uh, you know it was a natural gas you know and propane. Uh, leak tester that was or leak detector that was uh, based on uh, on a uh, TIF uh, I forget what the model number was <laughs> sorry but it was a uh, a classic uh, tool of some kind that used to cost hundreds of dollars and the, the uh, patent was finally up on it so I'm gonna get one of those too to add to the, the stash uh, this is my TIF refrigerant scale again this is another one I had had originally and got uh, stolen and I bought it again because it was uh, a really nice scale. I like the it's nice and skinny it's, I like where the handle is very easy to carry very easy to rope up a ladder Which is something uh, maybe uh, Would would not be considered with some of these other uh, Ways of having a refrigerant scale, you know, and it, uh, it It's not attached to the case you can take it out of there, you know, but it also uh, you can use it in the case Which is normally what I do But if uh, you don't have that much room and you can only have enough room for the square then you can take it out of there So it's really the best of both worlds in that way And uh, I've had no complaints with it. So uh, So just a couple things I've uh, said been rounding up here. Uh, I'm getting my field piece bagged together uh, I got the I did the video on this one already, the LT17A. I'm gonna go more in depth on that in, a, in its own video, but uh, I got that. Decided to put that in the ACDC clamp in there, and then I'm gonna get. I bought a uh, a set of different probe attachments that I'm gonna put in this bag because it's gonna be kind of my electronics meter. I'm gonna keep the uh, you know thermocouple and make it uh, capable of doing HVAC. Of course, that's what it's designed for ultimately. Uh, but I want to have this as my electronics meter because uh, of the capacitance, radiant, and stuff like that. So, uh, put this away here. I did find a way to roll up the leads pretty nicely, which I was a little bit confused at at first, but they, they do clip in on the bottom there. So, um, but I'm getting the, the accessory heads together is something, something I've been working on. I, again, I think I had this in the last video, but. I'm going to get a couple more of those and then have a complete collection and keep those in a bag. And, uh, you know, not, I'm not getting necessarily all of them, but a complete collection as, as far as what I, I need. There's a couple of them that are just uh, redundant or just not necessary for what I'm going to be doing. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at for, uh, for now. More More to come.